We are about 10 minutes away from waypoint one. Again, that is where Dragon will swing up and out in front of the station. And that'll bring us about 220 meters away from station, uh, which will bring us to what we call the docking access, which essentially means that we'll be right in front of the docking port. Yeah, and we, we don't have to hold at waypoint one uh, as long as we get that clear to move inside the keep out sphere, that 200 and meter 200 meter radius around the International Space Station. It's invisible, helps us monitor the arrival and departure of visiting vehicles. And this awesome view over the shoulder of our commander and pilot, Mike Hawkins and Victor Glover, just monitoring the mission. Dragon is flying autonomously. We are about 300 meters away. Closing in on just about one meter per second. So just about 80 meters to go until waypoint one. Amazing view of the International Space Station. That's from the cameras aboard Crew Dragon. Both getting a good look at each other. <laughs> kind of cool to see them both looking at each other as they approach each other. <laughs> Absolutely. And the crew on board also monitoring on their three display panels there in front of them. This is all autonomous, so they really don't have to do much except for enjoy the ride. Um, but they do get to watch on those display panels uh, where they're at during this approach here. You can also see the International Space Station on that far right and the far left panel. Uh, so they're getting really the same view that we are right here. I'm sure they're pretty excited about making it to their new home in space. But uh, once they reach waypoint one, as we mentioned, they don't have to stop. That'll be that 220 meter point. They'll move inside the keep out sphere at 200 meters. And then the next stop will be waypoint two. The crew will be 20 meters away from the International Space Station. Dragon will focus on aligning its docking system with the international docking adapter based on the attitude of the station. And it'll be about five minutes from that waypoint to the 20 meter spot until contact and capture. We'll be looking for that chop call, stands for crew hands off point two meters before contact. And this means uh, the crew is not commanding the vehicle. They haven't been at this time, but uh, the vehicle can still have an abort at that time. SSC However, it will not. Two, I've got good RPOP data on SSC 17. SSC 4 says RPOP is not receiving Dragon 2 data from PCS. Is that expected? Copy that, Kate. And Kate, we can go ahead and fix that by cycling it from the ground, or you can perform that task on the SSC, whichever is your preference. Do that, thanks. Copy, we're putting in work now. Astronaut Kate Rubens, who's on the International Space Station, currently the only American on the International Space Station. Uh, she is joined by her two Russian cosmonaut friends. Uh, that is Sergei Ryzhikov and Sergei Kuzverchkov. They'll be welcoming four new crew members to the orbiting laboratory. But she is monitoring the approach of Crew Dragon. She's also not commanding the approach, and as we mentioned, she won't be using the Canada Arm 2 to reach out and grapple the vehicle, but she uh, was working to get some data, and the ground team is going to uh, recycle that data for her or restart that for her. As we were mentioning, we were discussing CHOP, the crew hands-off point. The vehicle knows if it should abort, so at that point, the crew would not be commanding anything. However, everything's still looking healthy on Dragon and on the International Space Station.